The Montpelier Recreation Pathway is a 1.7 mile long pathway made of two segments leading along the Winooski River in Montpelier, Vermont. Starting on the east end, parking can be found immediately off of Stonecutter's Way. The trail begins here and follows next to the still active rail line. So starting on the east end of this trail along Stonecutter's Way, you see that there's definitely plenty of parking. Most of it looks like it's permit parking, but if you go all the way down to the end, I didn't see any signs about permits down there, so I think there's a few free spots. <laughs> At least I hope there are, because that's where I parked. Um, if I get back and find a ticket, I'll definitely update everybody on that. Keep an eye out for the different stone plaques. Gotta cross over, love. Crossing over. Making sure there's no cars. As the trail continues, it crosses the road several times. On the second crossing, the trail also crosses the railroad. You'll spot some barriers preventing walkers, bikers, or skaters from blindly crossing the railroad. You then head down a little alley and take a left onto Berry Street. You'll spot lots of parking here as well. As you're coming down Berry Street, you will notice the Gold Dome building there. That is the state capitol. At the intersection of Berry and Main Streets is the end of this segment of the trail. Again, you'll find plenty of parking. The next segment is easily within walking distance at about a quarter mile. It begins on Taylor Street, right next to the Green Bridge. At the start of the second part of the trail, you notice there's several large parking areas, but don't be deceived. Those are actually for state employees, at least during the weekday. I know that the one behind us, the big dirt lot on weekends, there is parking available in there. Um, there may be limited hours, so definitely check that before parking. Otherwise, there's plenty of street parking, you know, just a block over. So you don't have to worry about any of that. There's parking at the head behind us. And I think there's a little parking down at the end. But we'll find that out when we get there. Immediately after the beginning of this trail section, you'll come across this big bridge here. It's a nice big wide pedestrian bridge crossing the Winooski. You'll follow Route 2 briefly. As you continue along on this trail, you'll see there are several, several railroad crossings. And just be aware that this is an active railroad, so even though it doesn't look very active, it is, and there are warning signs there. Just make sure to stop, look, and listen. Bam! And do not cross the bridge. Again, you get a good view of the State House as the trail continues along the Winooski. Soon, you'll cross Bailey Avenue and pass by the Montpelier High School. Now, something of interest for anybody who likes railroad history is where the high school is right over there used to be the rail yard for this freight line. The trail we're on currently loops around behind the high school and behind where the old rail line used to be. But it's really close to where it was. And just remember, right where the high school is sitting. Plus the active rail line is still on the other side. After the trail loops around the back of the school, you'll come to a large public parking area with handicapped parking and accessibility to the trail. It then continues near several buildings, and soon you'll spot the Winooski again. Oh, that little girl found the perfect spot to go down to the river. Yes, she did. Don't hesitate to take a minute and go down to the river's edge while you're here. Oh, look at that. <laughs> after Aries cooled off some, it was time to hit the trail again. Soon after the high school, you'll come to Peace Park. Aries and I are now arriving at a picnic area here. See, there's a couple tables, some benches, Dove in the middle of a ring, flowers, pretty area. Soon after Peace Park, you'll spot I-89. 
Immediately after is the end of the trail at Dog River and Junction Roads. So if you're looking for an easily accessible trail with handicapped accessibility right in the center of Vermont's capital with access to other longer trail systems, then I would say that the Montpelier Recreation Path is definitely right for you.